What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to TTB Ravens Media, bringing you Ravens content every single day from us. that daily Ravens content. Make sure to subscribe button down below, hit the notification bell as well if you want to get notified every single time I upload a brand new video. Now, in this video today, it's going to be a collection of topics. First thing I'm going to be talking about is the Lamar Jackson elbow injury. He didn't practice. You know, he wasn't throwing today. He did. He was at practice, uh, but he wasn't really throwing today. He was wearing a sleeve on his arm. Talk about that first, but then I'll talk about a couple of other things that have been, you know, kind of going through my mind after the big loss. You know, that, that's all I'll say, the big loss uh, to the Miami Dolphins. So first off, yeah, like I said, Lamar Jackson got injured, um, you know, presumably in the game against the Miami Dolphins. It looked like um, it was the play where he hit Mark Andrews short left. Um, I believe it was on third down. I think it was the end of the drive. Um, uh, basically hit him short left. Uh, DB, I believe it was Roe, made a great tackle. Um Lamar Jackson following through, hit the elbow on a um, – maybe it was the uh, Ravens offensive lineman, maybe it was the defensive lineman getting pressure, but basically a collection of two, three guys Lamar was throwing it to, hit that elbow. Um, you know, and everything that's been coming out is like, no, 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 it, it's nothing major to worry about. It's just soreness. So if you've seen, oh, well, Lamar Jackson, he's got the – he's going to be fine. So I, I want to get that off, you know, my chest right off the bat. Uh, but going up this week against the Patriots, this is a really interesting matchup because no matter how bad the Patriots are, they're always going to be coached uh, by Bill Belichick. And Bill Belichick is going to make things very difficult. The last time the Ravens played against the Patriots, Bill Belichick was able to outcoach John Harbaugh and get the victory. And you may be able to say, what do you mean outcoach? Most of the times you don't outcoach wins. In extreme weather games, it often comes down to coaching rather than uh, play on the field because it's like so ridiculous. Like the, the Ravens game against the Patriots last year, it was like, you can't throw the ball or I don't think it was last year. I think it was two years ago. You couldn't throw the ball. So the Ravens went out there and the Patriots went out there and they, you know, neither quarterback could throw the ball because the winds were swirling and the rain was pouring down hard. And, and Bill Belichick, that is where he thrives. That is where he is able to make his money because he's the smartest coach in the history of the game. And he understands, you know, every season of the NFL, you know, in its entirety. And he was able to say, hey, we are going to go under center and we are going to run these plays. Like, you know, it almost reminds you of Army Navy, right? You know, and the way that they play. Bill Belichick knows that. And he's like, hey. So that's what they did in that Bills game as well. When Mac Jones last year, he only complete, he only threw, I think, three passes, went two for three or something like that. Um, they were able to win. Why? Because Bill Belichick just – his understanding of football is just beyond like anybody else's. And he was able to outcoach um, the Buffalo Bills because he knew exactly what he was doing. But the previous time the Ravens played up against them, it was very, it was very different. Why? Because it was a Tom Brady led um, New England Patriots team. And I understand that the Ravens in that game, they won by a lot. It, it was a close game. Uh, Julian Edelman ended up fumbling. Um, late in that game when it was really close, Patriots were looking like, hey, they are going to uh, you know, really kind of capture all momentum whatsoever. And then fumble comes out, Marlon Humphrey returns it for a touchdown, and it kind of broke the game back open for the Ravens. But overall in this game, Lamar Jackson is going to have to play very well. And this is going to be a situation where he's going up against an intriguing defense because the stars on this defense, there's some good players, you know, Matthew Judon is the best player, but there's some good players out there, but they no longer have JC Jackson. Um, they no have no longer have, you know, the guys that we're used to seeing in the new England Patriots uniforms, but overall their defense has been playing well. Uh, they were able to beat the Pittsburgh Steelers last week. Uh, they did lose in week one. They looked really bad in week one. The offense is not good uh, with the new England Patriots. That's the benefit, right? Their wide receivers are very, very subpar, so overall, this is going to be a very, very different matchup from the Ravens week two game against the Miami Dolphins. And I'm going to kind of compare them because week two was, okay, here's what you're going up against. Young coach, he's got great wide receivers in Waddle and, and Tyreek Hill and the speed. You know, you got to account for so many things. You can't get deep, beat by the deep ball and all this stuff. Crazy speed, crazy speed, crazy speed. And then on the defensive side of the ball, you're like, okay, they got Javon Holland. They have a very solid uh, front seven, you know, with some young assets, you know, Melvin Ingram, uh, you know, kind of the vet, but then they also have Jalen Phillips and, you know, plenty of other guys, but they also have uh, Xavier Howard. And it's like, okay, stay away from the playmakers. That's what's going to win them 
uh, the Dolphins this game if they're able to do it. And it's, you know, all about that cover zero and it's all about getting that pressure. The Patriots are like, we're going to play as sound football as possible and make you make mistakes. They, again, like I said, they don't have JC Jackson anymore. So it's going to come down to Matthew Junon trying to get that pass rush. And the Ravens health-wise, Ronnie Stanley has returned to practice and he is taking part more, I'll say, aggressively um, in the individual drills and stuff like that. He's taking more on, which is a good thing. You know, it's showing signs maybe he's able to return. But overall in this game, I think the run game, the run game is the biggest thing against the New England Patriots that the Ravens need to have working. And whether that's having J.K. Dobbins back, I don't know. I do not know if he's going to be able to return, but if he does, it would be a major benefit because Bill Belichick is going to recognize, Bill Belichick is a very smart coach, the Ravens' run game isn't working right now. It's not working whatsoever. Now, they did get a 79-yard rushing touchdown or 78-yard rushing touchdown from Lamar Jackson. So statistically, Ravens' run game looks great. The Ravens' run game is horrible. The running backs are not hitting the holes. If you guys have seen the Justice Hill play, that one looks really bad in, uh, you know, with all the different angles. Like It's like, dude, what are you doing? This still doesn't know how to run north and south, but Kenny Drake, Marlon Mack, or not Marlon Mack, uh, Mike Davis, those two guys, if they have to be the guys, Bill Belichick is going to say, hey, those guys need to beat us. Which is very different. Very, very different. Almost every time Lamar Jackson has gone into a game in his career, the defense is focusing on, hey, we need to stop the run, and then we'll stop the pass. As it stands right now, the Ravens' offense is stop the pass and make them beat you with the run because the run is horribly not working. Now, whether you blame the running backs, whether you blame the play calling, whether you blame uh, the offensive line, whatever it is, the running game is not working. So that's what Bill Belichick is going to try and to exploit. That is the thing the Ravens need to be focusing on. I know you can look at all these things and be like, oh, man, we're really not having that you know true wide receiver to step up. Um, Lamar Jackson hasn't been throwing to Mark Andrews as much. You know, all these things about the pass. It's like, dude, the pass is working. Lamar Jackson is hitting guys. He's hitting Bateman. He's hitting Duvernay. He's hitting Andrews. Uh, he hit likely uh, last week for a big play, uh, you know, along the sideline. Pass game is working. They need to fix that run game. That is the biggest issue the Ravens are facing right now. And I know the focus is on Lamar Jackson and his elbow. Um, You know, how is that going to affect his pass? I don't think Bill Belichick cares about that. I think Bill Belichick is like, stop the pass. Because the Ravens are not able to get a first down running three times in a row. Last week, they averaged 3.1 yards per carry. Outside of the one Lamar Jackson run where he busted it for 80 yards. Three yards a carry. That is not the Baltimore Ravens uh, offense. That Greg Roman is supposed to be running. And I'm not trying to blame Greg Roman. I don't think the running backs are hitting the holes very well. Um, but overall, like that's what this entire offense is based on. And it's not working. So that is the that needs to be the focus. That needs, you know, in watching the game, if the Ravens are running the ball well this week against the New England Patriots, they will win the game. Because the, the benefit is we're seeing the passing game, it's working. But part of the reason why the Ravens can't hold on to a lead or couldn't hold on to the lead last week was because the run game wasn't working. And if the run game isn't working, it's hard for you know what's supposed to be a run-first offense trying to chew clock. That's the biggest issue I've seen with the Ravens right now. Um, it, it's not the passing game whatsoever. It's, you know, surprisingly, the run game. And it is really bad. We need J.K. Dobbins back. We need Gus Edwards back. And we need to let Lamar Jackson do what he does best. Which is lead a rushing attack. Right? I'm not saying run him 25 times against the Patriots. That would be a terrible idea. They need that brush game. They need that running game back. Uh, if they want to win this game and, and, you know, have continued success throughout the season. It cannot be... Oh, the Ravens rushed for 58 yards again this game. That's not going to give them success. They need to be a run first team because that is how their entire offense is constructed. Lamar Jackson can throw the ball. I have no problem with that. But they don't have the 
infrastructure at wide receiver to be able to go out and win every week throwing the ball and being a pass-first offense. They don't have that. They're not built like, honestly, the Miami Dolphins where they have, you know, Waddle and and uh, Tyree Kill. They're not built like the Chiefs who have uh, Juju Smith-Schuster. They have Travis Kelsey, and they're also coached by Andy Reid and, and Eric Bieniemy. They're not built like the Bills with Stephon Diggs and Gabe Davis and all these, you know, playmakers of wide receiver. We're like, okay, we got Mark Andrews, and then we have some young guys that are solid. Bateman, really solid. And then DuVernay, he's all right. And Demarcus Robinson. Like, that's what we're working with right now. So the run game needs to get back on track. Um, I'm sorry for kind of the – I don't know if it's rambling, but kind of a, a cluster of different topics I wanted to say, bring up today. First off, talking about Lamar Jackson's elbow, uh, but then also talking about what the Ravens need to fix biggest uh, if they want to have continued success, which in my opinion is the run game. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe for Daily Ravens content, and I'll see all of you again tomorrow.